Good morning. I'm Miss True Friend TV with Cheetah K. I got your cards laid out. Let's get into it. Okay, signs to look out for today. Gemini. Uh, and let's see, we got the planet of the South Node, the South Node. Remember, reconsider. Now is not the time to. And also keep in mind to uh, communicate about things uh, and uh, explain information if you have to. All right. Let's see who this is about. Okay. So this is about... I take this to be about a Scorpio man. Okay. A Gemini and a Scorpio man. Alrighty. So we have the courthouse. The gift. And the message of Kassar. All right. We also have the distraction. Respect differences. And imprisonment. Ooh. Okay, so right away, I'm going to um, just go ahead and say that I'm getting um, I'm getting a, a message here that there is either a Gemini or a Scorpio male um, or a Gemini male that is uh, facing uh, jail time. Let me look into the gift. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up the numbers on the um, on the um, Kipper card, and I'm going to pull um, coinciding. It's either a question or a one word statement. All right, I'm going to do that in a minute. But let me get one on a gift. Let me see what the gift is about. Okay, and the gift is about a visit. A visit from a lawyer. This visit could be oh, okay. So this person received a visit misfortune. So this person receives a visit from um you received a visit from From somebody from either a young lady a child a young woman your girlfriend your daughter a young woman I can't say how old this person is but they received the okay a visit and that visit felt like a gift. It felt like, you know, it gave you some inspiration. And even though you two did not necessarily, not going to say you didn't see eye to eye on this visit, but maybe she just didn't understand why you did what you did. Or uh, 
vice versa. All right? Or you didn't understand them coming to visit you. I feel like how can I be talking to a person that's in jail because they won't be watching YouTube. But you never know because a lot of people get their hands on YouTube. I see uh, this candle going crazy. But a lot of people get up on YouTube. I mean, I, I go on TikTok and they be all in the jail uh, doing everything they want to do. Shit, living their best life. Message of concern. I don't want to, I want to know why. Let me get a why. Why love cheat, okay? Let me get a why for the message of concern. Why the message of concern? Why the message of concern? message of concern because they hating on you because they hating on you they hating on you in jail you must have brought this you must have brought this uh young lady something while you was in jail What did you battle, young lady? Did you buy this young lady something? You got this young lady a gift while you were in jail. Who is in jail and who is this young lady? Upside down, so meaning happiness. Now, on the other hand, I have a whole nother story. So, we have the story of um, somebody in jail. The person, the man, Gemini, or Scorpio man in jail that brought the young lady a gift. And um, then we received news that she was getting hated on. So, we got that message. And then now I also have another message. Now, this message is... Um, somebody to no who are these two people a couple a couple right that's not a couple anymore they're not together anymore, right? Okay, so these two are apart. These two are apart. The man went to the courthouse. The gentleman, the masculine, went to the courthouse, all right? He went to the courthouse to file some papers against the, fem the female. Let's see if I can make this make sense to you, show you. See, he's got the papers in his in his hand, and he's looking at the courthouse. So he went in there to go and file those papers, or he presented those papers into the courthouse. Okay, and that's the female. All right. So, with the courthouse card came out the misfortune. So with the misfortune, his his case, his his paperwork. His paperwork case, his paperwork that he filed did not turn out the way that it, it was supposed to. Maybe he didn't 
And maybe he was too distracted in the way that he was presenting his paperwork. You know how you have to fill out those affidavits? Maybe he didn't have his head on straight and he said a lot of things that uh, he didn't have to say. You know, the court can be biased against that if they feel like you are being biased and not presenting your case in um, in a, a certain type of manner, right? So, if you're going in the courthouse talking about she did that, she did this, and she did this, but you're not going in there stating facts that you got black and whites to prove, to back up, okay? So, that was a gift. Be that as it may be, that was a gift, Right? That was a gift to that was a gift to the woman. Right? When she got the news or when she talked to uh someone at the courthouse, when she went to the courthouse and she talked to somebody, they say, Oh, uh, well this paperwork was filed, but they but it got uh, they say the paperwork was filed, but um We'll send you a letter with the judgment. The judgment hasn't been made. So she had to just accept it and respect the differences. Respect this man's differences against her. Because she didn't know what to expect. So now the paper has come into the mail. The letter has come into the mail with the message of concern. And now we have the imprisonment card. So, meaning that what as she was in prison or she felt bound or tied down to um, whatever judgment was on this paper, she got the sadness in reverse, meaning happiness. Opposite of sadness is happiness. So, she got the happiness. So, that letter brought her happiness. Okay? So, that's that. And remember, we got the why because they hating on you. So this man is hating on this woman. This is the second story. All right. Let me get a, a, a period card. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm having a slow start this morning. This is not coffee in this cup. It's water. And it's totally different in the morning. But I need some water. My intents are in this water, so I gotta drink it down first thing in the morning. Alrighty. Okay. Let me get a period on her. Well, we got Are You Okay left out in the cold. Um, That's what she gonna be asking this man. Are you okay? You know? Well, she ain't gonna ask his ass shit. Somebody else gonna have to ask him, are you okay? Because I think that he trying to do a, uh, I don't know who this man is to her, but I think he trying to run it up on her ass. We got five, um, 13, 18. So we gonna go to card 18. Let's get the card 18. This is card 18. Okay, I don't know what to say. Let me see. <laughs> card 18. It says, please. Okay. Whew. Let me get one on. Let me get a, a clarifier on the please. Please why? Please what? Please what? Please leave me alone. That's an intuitive Please leave me alone. Please, God, thank you for letting me get out this jam. Please give me hope. Please give me hope to go on. Thank you. Yes. This woman, she gonna be okay. Let me get another period on her. I want to get one more period on her because I feel like she got something to say, but she's keeping it in. Who are you? Let's see. Information to explain. Communicating about. 
consider, remember, now is the time to. All right? All right. Real talk, I miss you, G. I feel like this is a... Uh, I feel like this is a, a divorce message. Um... Yeah, I feel like this is a divorce message. If it's not a divorce message for some, for some, this is a message of just a single woman going up against some man. It could be a landlord that's trying to evict her. But you got hope. And that eviction was overturned. All right. Here we go. We got, I ain't never seen this card before, honestly. We got come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, okay? Truthful communication, integrity. Divine intervention, surrender, and re reconciliation. Okay, so this lady, people, people who, who need this message, people who listen to this message, right? We want to go for divine intervention. That is for us, okay? Whatever this reconcil reconciliation is, if it's a reconciliation as far as a marriage, do not, do not, please, please do not, okay? Uh, truthful communication well that's always cool we always want to shoot for truthful communication integrity we always want to have integrity surrender surrender unto the Lord your problems and he shall put you back on solid ground he will deliver you okay from the dirt and mud and that's where your hope comes in that stay faithful stay prayed up reconciliation we don't want that we don't want nobody who's taking us to court to bring us through this uh this much mental mental drainage okay we don't want that we don't want that in the lover we don't want that from a landlord or anything but what we do want is we want enough time to we want enough time to get a plan together as far as that go we don't want to be left out in the cold we really don't want to be left out in the cold okay Whew. Alrighty. so uh yeah, divine intervention. Pray to God, okay? I felt the strong need to pray, so I had to put some intentions into my water, and I'm going to drink it down in a little bit. But definitely, definitely pray and forgive the ops, okay? For they know not what they do. They just hate us. Stay away from their ass, but forgive them, all right? Okay. I would like to do a postcard from Spirit, if you don't mind. All right. We're going to do a postcard from Spirit, if you don't mind. And then I'm going to end this reading. If you have a question or if you are unclear about anything, I mean, because I'm not getting um, too much feedback on um, the readings, but as far as the cards go, we like the cards. Thank you. But as far as the reading, if you have any um, anything that you would like to say, feel free to leave a comment or an email or even text my number at 318-888-8250, okay? Um, it's all good. I won't mis misinterpret anything. I mean, unless you're just purposely being an asshole, but still, I won't even misinterpret it that, all right? I'll just see you as being an asshole. But if you are, you know, coming through to give me a little piece of advice, I welcome that advice. Because I, I, you know, I'm just sitting here talking to myself for right now. But I do have messages I need to get out. When I do um, personal reads, they are so much fun. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Even just the one questions really are fun. Okay. So right now, I'm feeling like I want to... Let's see, because remember I picked these by the way that the outside makes me feel. Oh, and I feel like this is the one, okay? It's pretty, postcard from Spirit. 
Dearest you, did you know that when you stop, um, dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? Yes. There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are. Not how you like to see, not how you like for them to be. You'll be surprised at how important, I'm sorry, you'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world st stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities awaiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. Spirit, I fucking love it. I'm sorry, but I really, really do. Have courage, okay? Decide, pick your battles wisely. Decide to stay a go, sink or swim. Have courage, be brave, stand up for yourself. Don't just let people do anything to you. Even with these courthouses, you can file appeals and you can fight for yourself. Even if it's the smallest, even if you're not getting exactly what you want, it don't have to be lawsuit anything, just an appeal for your name, okay? Don't don't decide whether you're going to sink or swim. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm not going to sink for too many things. I'm sorry. You know, move or stay. I'm going to tell you, when I made the decision to move, every time I made the decision to move, I got some forward movement, positive in a, in a different direction and it felt better than staying in shit that I didn't want to stay in alright so I hope that was helpful to you and do everything within love this card says come to Jesus stay a prayer, stay faithful, stay hopeful stay prayed up, okay take care of yourself and your loved ones and um, I love you